Okay, I want to talk about um, selecting your shoe for this project. Um, I want to show you some shoes that I've kind of rejected, and I'm going to show you the shoe that I'm going to select for mine that I'm going to do uh, my demonstration on. Okay, all right, so um, I've got a selection of shoes here that are good shoes, right? Um, I'm going to just talk about the pros and cons of them. The thing about this shoe, uh, it has a lot of interest to it. It has some cool, has like a cool form uh, to it, actually, a lot of height. Um, the thing that I think would be really challenging about it is this molded sole. Um, I think that that is a challenging shoe to draw, okay? So I'm not gonna draw that shoe. Um, I think that a whole lot of the interest with this pattern and then these straps that are kind of doing this thing, uh, you know, that's going to be extra steps at the end. Uh, and because I'm just doing a demonstration with you guys, and I only have so much time, I'm probably not going to do that shoe. Um, this shoe, to me, doesn't have a whole lot going for it. it um, I think that a person could draw a really good drawing of this, um, but, you know, the form is kind of collapsed on this shoe. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I just don't want to draw this shoe. There's just... You know not not a whole lot going on with it um i think that that's the reason why i'm kind of rejecting that shoe you know just the fact that it's kind of collapsed over like that okay um these converse shoes are really cool shoes and i've certainly had people draw really good shoe um good drawings with them the one thing that um you know about this shoe is that the bottom of it is completely flat all the way across and then it lifts up a little bit at the top. A whole lot of shoes, um, you know, they don't do that. They come down and they touch and then they go back up and then they come back down and then they go back up again. The Commerce shoes tend to not really do that. That's why I'm gonna kind of reject this shoe for this particular time because I don't think it would be good for, um, uh, for, you know, demonstrating, okay? Um, this is a really cool shoe of my wife's. Um, it has, I don't know, it has this kind of fuzzy thing going on on it. The thing is, is the thing that's really cool about this shoe is that f fuzzy thing and the pattern on there. Um, the the rest of it, I don't know, you know, it, it's a fairly ordinary kind of shoe otherwise. Um, it does, um, you know, it's again really, really flat all the way across here and then rises up a little bit uh, at, at the end. So when you're selecting your shoe, take a look and see what does it do the relationship with the bottom plane okay here's another fuzzy shoe of my wife's i think that this shoe is really awesome um it's just like got all kinds of form you can see again it you know it's up in the air touches then comes back up then comes back down over the the reason why i'm not going to do this particular shoe is i don't think it's a good example uh for a whole you know for the the whole like vast uh, number of shoes that you might run into okay uh, I don't know it's not a good one for me to give you guys an example okay <clears throat> this shoe I think is actually um, a, you know a good example and I've used it uh, as an example in the past I've drawn this shoe a couple of times um, and uh, the thing about it is it has kind of simple lines uh, to it um, the one thing well, you know, I might even draw this shoe. I haven't quite decided whether to, to do this one or not. Um, I know there's there's some things about it that are really pretty terrific. Um, you know, I like how it's up, then it touches, then it's up, then it touches, and then it actually comes up again in the back. Hard to kind of beat that shoe. You know, in terms of it, it's just its lines. It's got a great form to it, right? Um, this one I'd all but decided I was going to do. Um, but, you know, again, there's pluses and minuses. I wasn't paying attention to what I was pointing the camera. I hope you can see this. But, yeah, you know, this one, again, up, touches, up, down here. And then it comes up again a little bit in the back. Um, the thing that it's got over that shoe is that it's a lot simpler. There's no laces. Uh, there's not all this stitching and stuff. Um, all these little holes and things. You know, would I have to draw all those holes? Uh, or, or could I get away with with not drawing them laces is a thing that you have to do at the very end okay so you know if you were going to select a laced shoe right keep keep
keep that in mind. The other thing is, is that, you know, if you've got something that's got a lot of stitching or, um, you know, just a, a whole lot of things going on in the shoe, um, again, that's something that you're going to have to deal with here. Again, I might just deal with this one. It's got a little bit of stitching and it's got, you know, this thing right here. It's probably enough. Um, it's also got like, you know, really good form to it. So that's probably the shoe that I'm going to draw with you guys this time.